Evan, some great news. The five stolen chariots taken from a nonprofit called Speed for Need were found behind an abandoned home in Charlotte. When they were stolen last month, the group reached out to us asking for help. The man who saw them in the bushes tonight did say he knew someone wanted them back because he saw them on the news. Our Cam Gaskins is live. Cam, the chairs were taken three weeks ago. Are they still in decent shape, still usable? Yeah, Molly, they are still usable and ready to get back on the racetrack. Now, what's interesting is the Speed for Need co-founder told us tonight he was very close to filing the insurance paperwork and giving up hope that he would ever find these chariots again. Well, tonight, that is no longer necessary. Now, if you've never heard of Speed for Need, they are a group of men who use those three-wheeled rides to push around people who want to run 5Ks or other races but can't because of cancer treatment or other medical issues. And tonight, they are back in business. This story you will only see on WBTV News is all new at 11. The thing that they never stole, they never stole our memories. They never stole our resolve. Speed for Need co-founder and CEO Kevin Young nearly gave up hope that the group's five racing chariots would ever be recovered until he got a phone call late Friday afternoon out of nowhere. When they said they had our chairs, it's like you just, you hope that's, you hope it's true. Two men were inspecting this house on Wallace Lane in Southeast Charlotte that was scheduled for demolition. And when they walked around to the back, they say they immediately recognized what they saw. And they saw our five racing chairs and one of the guys says, hey, I saw that on the news. I think they saw it on WBTV. So they messaged Speed for Need on Facebook and got in touch with Kevin. And then he came racing. You wouldn't believe the message we just got. Somebody found our racing chairs. And when he saw them, he says he was reminded that ultimately there is more good in this world than bad. But I think that if you look all around, there's way more good that happens on a daily basis than bad. It's been humbling and it's been heartwarming. Gosh, it just it's such a good feeling. According to Young, the chairs were still in great shape. They just need a little cleaning and they're ready to get back out on the racetrack. We cannot wait to go back to racing again. And, and we got some new members of the Speed for Need family. Um, the guys that pushed, I'm going to get them in a race and they're going to help us get somebody to the finish line. Yeah, really happy ending to the story there. Now, as for who stole that trailer with the chariots and why, Young tells us tonight there have not been any arrests made, but he said that is the furthest thing that's been on his mind during this entire ordeal. His only focus was getting those chairs back so his racers could get back to doing what they love. Reporting live in Charlotte, I'm Cam Gaskins, WBTV on your side. You can hear it in his voice, Cam. So sincerely thrilled to have those back in business. Thank you.